Hi all, a lot of CAT students are worried about the LRDI section. A lot of students ask me what kind of sets will come in CAT 2024. So I will give you my 5 most expected CAT DILR sets. The first most common type of LRDI sets that has always come in CAT is the arrangements based set. Arrangements based set plus puzzles which are based on arrangements or Einstein's puzzles are very very common in CAT. So what is arrangement? Arrangement is basically you have to essentially arrange people in a row. So you have to figure out in what order they are standing. They might be standing uh, in a line, they might be standing in a queue, they might have uh, cars parked in a particular row. So all of this is basically linear arrangement. You have to draw out the line, figure out where anyone is standing based on the clues that are given and based on that you can solve the linear arrangement. The same linear arrangement, instead of having a line, you can have a circle. You can have like eight people sitting around a round table having a round table discussion. So again, you have to do the same thing. You have to figure out where everyone is seated based on the clues that are given. The same thing, instead of a round table, you can have a square table and so on. All of these are basically arrangement questions where you have to figure out where people are seated based on the clues given. In all of these kind of sets, you have to draw out the information. The more you represent each information visually, the better chance you have of solving the particular set. A variation or a variant of arrangements is Einstein's puzzle. In Einstein's puzzle, you don't have to arrange people. You have to arrange attributes for a particular people. So the classic example of an Einstein's puzzle is that there are six friends. They come from six different cities. They have six different colors of shirts, six different colors of pants, etc. So here basically the people are stationary. You have to figure out which city they come from, which color shirt they are wearing, which color trouser they are wearing. The attributes can change. They can change from like, uh, instead of shirt, pant color, it can be possibly like their undergraduation or their degree or their profession. Basically, it doesn't matter. The point is that you will have people and attributes of certain people and you have to figure out which attribute belongs to which person as such. So here also you have to arrange the information. You have to figure out the right order of the information to solve the set. All of these kind of sets are fundamental to the LRDI section. I always say that begin your preparation with arrangements and puzzles because they are required for other types of sets also. Arrangements is foundational for LRDI section and this type of set, these type of sets come very very often. So the most expected type of LRDI set that I know will come is one based on arrangements or puzzles. The second most common type of LRDI sets that come in CAT are table based sets. Now table based sets can be of different different types. For example, the most common type of LRDI set based on tables is table with missing values where incomplete information is given. Here you have to fill in the information based on the clues given. Sometimes you have to backfill in data based on the fact that okay, some information is given about the row total. Some information is given about the column total. Some information is given that they can take only integer values or they can have only these set of values. So using that information, you have to essentially fill in the table given incomplete information. In these kind of sets, you have to just draw out the table, put in the information that you already know, then iteratively go through the clues till you are able to fill in the whole table. Sometimes you might get stuck. So in those kind of cases, you have to basically say that, okay, there are case one, case two, case three. Suppose you can't figure out the value of a particular cell. Then you can say that, okay, the value can be either seven, eight or nine. Then you get three cases. So using such case method or using the information or clues given, you have to essentially fill in the table. This is the most common type of table based set that comes. The second most common type of table based set that comes is where cumulative information is given. This is something that came recently in CAT where delivery information was given that at the end of this hour, so many orders were delivered. At the end of the second hour, so many orders were delivered. So here basically the cumulative number of orders delivered was mentioned. Whenever cumulative data is given, you have to convert it into range wise data. So if you know that by the end of two hours, 100 orders were delivered and by the end of three hours, 150 orders were delivered, then in the third hour, 150 minus 100, that is 50 orders would be delivered. So this is basically an example of converting cumulative data to range-wise data. So this is the second most type of common table-based DILR set that comes. There can be table-based sets where you have connected sets, where two tables are given and you have to find out the relationship between the tables. Or you can have one table and a chart and you have to figure out the relationship between those types. So these are essentially purely data interpretation sets as well as some logical reasoning where you have to backfill data when there is incomplete data. These tend to be on the easier side. 
these are also something that i would mostly prefer solving because there is a very good chance that these sets can be solved within 15 minutes so these are the second most common type of dlr sets that come the third most common type of lrdi sets that come are chart based sets chart based sets are the easiest sets that you can possibly solve this is something that i recommend to all my students if you see in the four sets there is one set which is chart based definitely attempt the chart based set because that will be the easiest of the four in chart based sets you don't have to do anything much you have to essentially convert the charts to a table reading a chart is the only ability that is really needed an extra ability that is needed apart from converting the chart to a table it becomes a very simple di set based on tables as such if you have table based sets table based sets generally would be harder than the chart based sets because more logic will be required but in chart based sets convert the chart to a table it becomes much simpler from that point on to solve the dil set chart based sets can be based on bar charts pie charts line charts area charts bubble charts and one type of chart that was common in cat for a few years but has not been asked for the last few years which is the radar chart or the spider chart so you should be comfortable with all the different types of charts you should be able to read them so you should know that okay for this particular value this is the value indicated by the chart you should be able to convert the chart to a table and once that job is done it becomes extremely simple to solve the set so this is basically what is required to solve chart based sets and again i would like to reiterate if a chart based set comes definitely definitely solve it now the fourth most common type of dilr set that comes in cat is based on set theory now set theory sets have been very very common they appear every single year but they come in different different form the most common form of set theory set is basically the four set venn diagram that has come regularly in every cat for the last few years four set venn diagrams have a set pattern if you remember the pattern if you remember how to represent that information how to draw that venn diagram as such it is a very simple set to solve the only problem is that it can sometimes be time consuming because there's a lot of information generally four set venn diagrams have like 10 to 12 clues that are given so it takes time to read and actually plot the data but it is a simpler set it is a definitely solvable set sometimes in arrangement sets you can get stuck you can get caught where you are, you don't know how to proceed but that will not happen with four set venn diagrams if you know the logic of four set venn diagrams it is hard to go wrong with them so i would always suggest if you get four set venn diagrams definitely know the pattern definitely know the method and if you know the pattern and the method you will definitely be able to solve that that is the most common type of set theory set that comes the second most common type of set theory sets that came even last year in cat 2023 are based on the set theory ideas or concepts of mean median mode if you understand the concept of mean median mode these are easy sets to solve they are basically table based sets with the additional idea that the table values will have to follow certain uh, conditions of mean median mode but you just needed to know what is mean what is median what is mode and then you have to solve it as a table based set table based set or table with missing values kind of set so these are generally on the easier side and these you can solve but some people got tripped up by those sets because they did not know what was mean median mode if your set theory basics are clear you will be able to solve those kind of sets the third common type of set theory based dlr set is a set based on categorization of values categorization is basically this is not like a venn diagram so you, when you have venn diagram you have overlap of sets but in certain cases the sets are non overlapping basically they are dividing sets into different parts so for example consider a school a school which has different classes from 5 6 7 8 9 10 so firstly you will have to categorize the people or separate the people into each of the classes now within the classes you will have girls and boys and within the subdivision of girls and boys you might have further division of like students who are learning commerce students who are learning science students who are learning arts so basically what is happening over here your set is being divided into subsets and these subsets are non overlapping sets this is basically categorization of information so you basically have to figure out given a larger set how to categorize the information how many people belong to which particular subset and so on while these are not difficult sets these are also not trivially easy and it is possible to get stuck in these kind of sets so between set theory sets if you have sets on four set venn diagram on the easier side set theory based on mean median mode also on the easier side set theory based on categorization sometimes easy sometimes tricky now the fifth common type of lrdi sets which you have seen come very often in cat these days is scheduling based sets 
So what are scheduling based sets? So this is one of the sets that came recently where you had visa appointments. People coming in for visa appointments, there were different desks and you had to figure out when the visa appointments would take place, when the agents would be busy, when would they have slack time, all of those things would have to be figured. These are basically called scheduling based sets. You have to figure out how much processing time somebody is going to take at what time some processing will start, at what time a processing will end. So this is basically, you can consider it as there is a time scale and there are different processes taking place and you have to figure out which process takes how much time and when it can take place. This is basically the idea of scheduling. In scheduling, you basically have to represent the information visually. You have to either draw a time scale vertically if you have a lot of time, if you have like three, four hours to represent, I would say that draw a vertical representation of time or if there are big blocks such that there is not a lot of small, small units of time as such, you can draw even a horizontal time scale. Now on that time scale, you have to represent when work is taking place. So if a person A is coming to visa agent A and the visa agent A is doing the processing work. So you have to basically draw a block to show that, okay, this person came here and his work was done by visa agent A from this 9.02 a.m. to 9.10 a.m. So you draw a block starting at 9.02 a.m. and ending at 9.10 a.m. This is basically the job of scheduling. This is the process of scheduling. If this was not clear, what I would suggest is that go take a look at our uh, LRDI revision videos. Scheduling, I have described in detail. This requires essentially you drawing it out. This requires drawing skills. Those who have very, very good drawing skills will benefit over here because this requires precision in drawing. This requires a good eye for detail and this requires neatness and meticulousness. So anybody who has good drawing skills, definitely go for scheduling because you will have an advantage over there over other aspirants. So these are the five most common LRDI sets. I hope that you practice them thoroughly and let's crack CAT 2024.